and, and everyone's going to talk about, you know, and, and they want to hear about, you know, kind of the, the inquiry that was and everything else. To me, if you watch the head-on replay, both horses, both horses, Forever Young and Sierra Leone, are going back and forth with each other. And, and at the end of the day, the picture that came out after the race was over, I don't, I still don't know exactly where that picture took place. It'd be nice if anybody interviewed Tyler Gaffleone. They interviewed the Japanese jockey who said that he didn't have a problem with it. No, yep. Nobody's interviewed Tyler Gaffleone about what happened. I think he's just trying to correct the horse he as was. best he can so the horse doesn't crash into somebody. His whip got stuck in the reins or the mane of, of yeah. the other of the other wow. horse. Here's the amazing thing. Yes, it could have been equal blame on both jockeys, but it's the job of the stewards to drop the flag. This is a major race. Every, the whole world is watching. Everybody that knows nothing saw there was contact. The stewards have to make a foul claim. Just because you claim a, just because you put up an inquiry doesn't mean you're taking the horse down. They had an obligation. They dropped the ball. The stewards absolutely dropped the ball. They have to make a claim of foul there. They have to. Well, that's not the only one, John. I mean, Brian, at the end of the day, it's a brilliant ride, but Brian Hernandez eliminated Joel Rosario at the top yeah. of the stretch. Yes, his boot hit the rail, but he also he also smacked track Phantom twice. <laughs> for, for, for the sake of the argument, let's say they should have just hung the flag while they were looking at it to make it official. They said they were waiting for the photo. I think they were just looking at the race. But, but to me... The, the thing is, you want them to play. You don't want the whistle to always get involved. We've had so much controversy in these races the last, the last few years. And, and, and if the jockeys aren't claiming foul, and yes, they're looking at it, and they didn't, they didn't drop the flag. We've, we've seen this controversy two games in a row in the, the Knicks-Indiana Pacers series. They're calling a double dribble. The guy's dribbling the ball fine. They're calling a kickball. Look, mistakes happen all the time. At the end of the day, but, but Chad, this wasn't one bump. They were they were crashing. It looked like roller derby. <laughs> the, the stewards had a responsibility for people that are even new to the game to drop the flag and call an inquiry. That's all. It's their job. It's their job. They waited an hour between races. What the hell's another ten minutes? Oh, and, and not for anything. You had ten point two million dollars of handle bet on it from Japan. That I'm sure had that horse placed first and second. You had the, the 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 highest ratings since 1989 on TV. I mean, we we captured we captured the That's audience. The I'm still not thing. sure. i still not sure why, thing. unless the fact that Travis Kelsey was there and all the Swifties were uh, were tuning in. But look, it was it was great. It was a safe day, which is uh, more important than the finishes and everything else. Everybody yes. came home safe and sound. And 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 now, but here's the thing: let's not shoot ourselves in the foot, and let's try and carry this momentum forward. And unfortunately, after the Derby. The, the the it's it's the negative controversy. It's why wasn't there an inquiry onto this? The, they're not going to be always going to have that. You're always we're only going to have, gonna have a Dwayne Lucas horse in the Preakness. You know, yada yada yada. It's it's all again negative stories instead of the positive stories, and that's the problem that horse racing has. We have a giant PR problem, and we shoot ourselves in the foot constantly. When was the last time? I can't remember. Three noses on the wire in the Derby. It was in a, an, um, an unbelievably exciting race. You know, but, even if you didn't win the bet, you say it was still a great race. But here's the here's the problem. Okay, everybody now is so concerned about their percentages and everything else that we're going to go to the Preakness now. We're going to talk about the Preakness. The Preakness is next week. It's a week away. Maybe we have Mystic Dan. Maybe he's not official yet. For sure, we don't have Sierra Leone, and for sure, we don't have Forever Young. Well, why would you run? If you, you're a trainer, Chad, would you come – if you didn't hit the board, if you don't run one, two, is there any point to run in the Preakness? Things have changed. Things have changed. Look, okay. I, I think that they should have a point system in place with a big bonus structure at the end. Forever has the most points at the end of the series. And then all of a sudden, those three horses – if there's a, a $10 million prize for the horse that has the most points at the end of the series, it, it means something. I like it. But 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 you're right. There's no point. It, nobody, you're, you're not a stallion if you won the Preakness. I, nobody cares that Oxbow is a stallion. All you're right? gonna do is fry your horse for the next six months if you run him back on two weeks, but two weeks of races. I so think. Here, here's the thing. Back in the day, forever, they ran horses in two. They they run horses in between the. Yes, no more though. No more. That that time is over. I mean, well, yeah. So, I, look, people are talking about do you change the Preakness? Do you move the Preakness back to to a no. two? To no, bring these horses. No. That, then that changes that changes what the triple crown is exactly it's like moving the fences and because no one hit a home run in three games so but they've done, hey but they've done that before in baseball yeah but don't ruin horse racing they do it they ruin every other sport 